We'll look ahead to this weekend's game, mm. London Irish. You've had a, a week to recharge the batteries again. Yeah. What are you expecting from the boys coming into this game? Well, I, I've kind of said to the guys, you know, we've got to challenge ourselves that our ambition has to be greater than London Irish's. You know, the, uh, I, that's not um, uh, making making light of the game at all. You know, we know London Irish are a very good side. Uh, we've lost them here at Sandy Park before. Um, we know they're very competitive and they've got themselves probably in, into what you could describe quite a nice situation now. You know, they spent most of the season in a, in a relegation battle. They fought their way out of that extremely well under a lot of pressure. Uh, and now they can probably talk about maybe not relaxing, but maybe enjoying the end of the season and seeing what they can get out of it and what they can develop for the start of next year. You know, we were in that, we've been in that situation before where you know, you know, you know you're safe uh, and you can enjoy some, some rugby. You know, the pressure's off you and you can enjoy what you're doing. And that'll make them very dangerous. Um, anybody who saw the sale game will see, you know, there's some end-to-end -end rugby being played. When they're, when, they're, when they're on the attack, they're, they're a real handful. And, you know, we're very aware of that, but at the same time, we've got a good home record. Uh, we've got to make sure we put in a big shift work very hard, be very physical, and as I say, we, we've got to show that you know our ambition is, is right up there because there are some big things for us to aim for still this season. You talked about last weekend's Heineken Cup and watching all four games mm. from, from that. Um, you got excited by it and yeah. uh, I think it shows how much it means to you and probably the team that you want to be back in that competition again next year. Yeah, that's right. As I say, we're, we're in quite a nice position as well. You know, We're coming up on the rails on a couple of teams above us. Um, and you know we're, we're making a bit of a late run, but we, we tended to we did that last year. You know we had quite a, a late run of, of good results that kind of drove us up into fifth. And, and I say we've got to we've got to kind of show that kind of ambition again. We're talking in a way that we're saying we want to play rugby, we want to go after it. We don't want to kind of rest on our laurels of just having another nice season. You know it's been a great season. You know we've played some fantastic teams. Uh, our Premiership record has been pretty good. Um, we've beaten some good seeds sides in the Premiership, but you know that that. That doesn't count for too much if, if you don't stay ambitious and want to achieve more. And at the minute, things are within our grasp. Uh, they're not entirely within our hands, because obviously we're not in, we're not in sixth place at the minute. But in, you know, there are, there's a lot of points still to be gathered. And we, we've got to put three really good performances together. But first and foremost, we've got to knuckle down, we've got to work hard. Um, and like I say, we've, we've got to show a really good competitive edge this weekend. Um, otherwise, things can slip away from you very quickly. For 60 minutes at Worcester, you did show that competitive yeah. edge. And Particularly that last quarter, you dug mm. deep when you needed to, and it showed the character of the team. Yeah, and I, I think that was the most pleasing thing to see, was that, um, you know, we kept our composure and we we kept attacking the, that game in the last 20 minutes. Rel relatively easy to to let a momentum shift get away from you. I think I think probably the hardest. Um, battle you can have on a rugby pitch is if you feel like you're in control for a long period uh, in control of the scoreboard a little bit as well and then all of a sudden in, in a 10 minute period you lose a bit of field position and, and you go from being pretty comfortable to being points down and the whole momentum of the game has gone away from you and in reality when you actually look back and, and analyse the last 12-15 minutes we had pretty much total control of the ball, total control of territory and we built pressure really well. Now, we, we didn't score immediately, you know, we, uh, we blew a 5 metre scrum opportunity um, we knocked on within the 22 a couple of times, but we never we never lost momentum. We never lost an attacking attempt, and really the pressure was just building and building and building. We forced a yellow card, and really it, it did feel a little bit like something was coming. Now whether that was going to be a penalty to win the game or try to win the game, it, it was there, uh, and eventually you know the guys showed the character to keep at it, and and we came through. And I, I would class that as a really good win. You know I think only two or three other Premiership teams have won it. Um, Worcester this season, you know, Leicester le left it even later than we did, um, you know, and one or two other teams won with last kick of the last kicks of the game. So, very good result away from home. Fantastic four points has kept us right in the hunt. What we've got to do is keep maintaining that intent in that form. These last three games, as you say, are massive. Mm. Um, two of them are at home. Is that a key thing? Um, you know, you'd always like to say no. You know that whatever it is, you can get out there and you can challenge and you can make the wins. But it is nice playing here, and we have got a we, for whatever reason. You know, we've got a we've got a good record here, um, and we've got to obviously make sure we make the most of that. But you know, home records, away records, you know, they they rely on the performance you put in. They don't just rely on the, the place you go and play. So we've got to make sure that the way we play involves the crowd. You know, if we show the crowd, it's very important to us how we play out there this Saturday. This crowd here gets right behind you. Um, and that's the challenge, as I said, we'll be laying down to the players. You show the, you show the crowd how important it is, uh, and they'll respond likewise. And, and that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do to end the season. Talking to the boys as well, you've done your homework on uh, Irish, and I think the recurring theme is their threat all over mm. the park. Yeah, I mean, everyone's, everyone's aware that over uh, the last few seasons, they've been one of the, I suppose, 
uh, best attacking teams in a lot of ways based on some of the individual talent they've had in there but also based on their philosophy to go out and attack games and um, that hasn't really changed they've they found themselves in a difficult situation this season with with injuries and players leaving changes of coaching staff and and the such like and that can happen that can happen to any team but as i said they've shown glimpses of being you know the old attacking london irish of the past as i said they've now got a, a bit of pressure off themselves and that can make them quite dangerous so uh, as i said for us you know we believe we're a good side when we play well and so the key will be playing well and the result will hopefully and the performance will look after everything else.